Hello, Gordon. It is Sunday, January 13th, 2013. Today, I want to talk to you about Cichlid and a radio show about it that um, was on CBC's The Current on January 9th of this year. And I'm going to try to do it without getting too mad. The radio show is about a genre of literature that's been called Cichlid. Basically, books about um, teen suicide, self-harm, and uh, getting cancer, basically dying. The reviewer they were talking to, Amanda Craig, says she doesn't read these kind of books because she feels that they influence young teens. She then proceeded to talk about books that she had never read to make her point, including The Fault in Our Stars. One of the articles they reference is from the UK's Daily Mail, which says this about The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Diagnosed with stage 4 thyroid cancer at the age of 13, Hazel spends most of her time tethered to an oxygen tank and is running out of hope. When she falls for another cancer survivor, she has to weigh up if she has enough time to fall for him before she dies. I'm not sure the author of that article and I read the same book, because that's not what The Fault in Our Stars is about. Books in this genre are not written to encourage people to hurt themselves. Writing, especially good writing, seeks to connect with its reader on a personal level. It tries to tell the stories that we keep buried and hidden away. Those are the stories that need to be told so that things can change. If we never talk about what's wrong with this world, how will we ever le learn to survive in it? Also, Sylvia Plath. Hearing this episode, which, granted, did have some um, voices that were, you know, arguing against Amanda Craig, and I salute them because they did a really excellent job. Um, they made very good points and had actually read the books that they were talking about, so, you know, fair enough. Um, but hearing what the majority like what she was saying in this episode and reading these articles, well, this article, reading this article, made me so angry that I shook. Like, I literally started to shake. Um, if something makes you that mad, it needs to be talked about. I'm going to put the links in the, the bottom bar here. And, um, yeah, that's all I really had to say. Okay, well, have a good week. Sylvia Plath was around before The Fault in Our Stars. She isn't very chipper.